In this video, we'll be introducing the idea of a mathematical expression and seeing how we can simplify some of them that involve addition, subtraction and multiplication. An expression is just a combination of symbols that make sense mathematically. So for example, a number itself is an expression. When we put numbers together as a multiplication or product, 3x is an expression. A sum is an expression. And things like this, 3x minus 2 plus 4y on x squared is an expression. You might think of them as a statement of a, of a quantity or a combination of variables and numbers. In an expression, when the last operation to be carried out is an addition, we call that expression a sum. Similarly, if the last operation is subtraction, we call it a difference. When the last one to be carried out is multiplication, we call that a product. And when the last thing to be done is a division, we call it a quotient. Now it's important to know these different terms here because sometimes they'll allow us to do certain things to an expression to reduce it or to simplify it. Certain things can be done to sums and differences and others can be done to products and quotients. Another couple of terms that are important, terms itself and factors, the individual parts of a sum or a difference are called terms. So up here with 3 plus 7, 3 and 7 are terms of that sum. On the other hand, in 3x, 3 and x are factors of the product 3x. So first, let's look at addition and subtraction in algebraic expressions. You might have heard that, or done before, that we can only add and subtract terms in an expression when they're like terms or they're similar. And what does that mean? Well, like terms basically means that the terms in the sum only differ in their numerical coefficients. So some easy ones to look at are here in the first bullet point. 9a, minus 3a, and 101a. They're all like terms because they only differ in the number that's multiplying a. So we could combine them through addition and subtraction if they were in an expression of that form. Similarly, but probably not as obvious, 6x squared y minus 4x squared y and x squared y are also all like terms with each other because they're the same algebraic parts x squared y but with different numerical coefficients. So again we could add and subtract those if they were in an expression of that type. Let's have a look at some examples. In this question we're asked to combine the like terms in the following sums and differences to simplify the expressions. Simplify just means make it as small as you can, reducing redundancies. So first of all we've got 9x minus 4x. If you're keen, try stopping the video now and have a go at this one yourself. Try out B and C as well, and then when you're finished, come back and see how I go through this problem. The expression that we have in part A is a difference the difference of 9x and 4x. 9x and 4x are like terms because they're just different multiples of the variable x, so we can combine them through subtraction. So what we need to do is think about if we've got 9 of something and we want to take away 4 of them, what are we left with? Well, that's not too hard. We should be left with 5 of that thing, in this case 5x's. In B, we're asked to add 7v and 3w. We've got 7v's and 3w's. V's and W's are not the same thing, so these are non-like terms. We can't add them together, so that's as simple as it can be. In C, we have a bit more to work with. Again, it's still a sum or a difference, but this time we've got 2y, 2y squared, 5y, 3z, and minus 9yz. It's not as obvious what's like and what's not like in this particular expression. But if we look closely, we can again identify the like and non-like terms. 2y and 5y, of course they're going to be able to be combined because they're both multiples of y. We then have y squared. Well y squared is not the same as y, so we can't combine that one with our 2y and 5y. Similarly 3z and 9yz, none of these can be combined. So essentially what we've got to do is just combine the highlighted terms and leave the rest of them as they are. So we end up with 7y minus 2y squared plus 3z minus 9yz. And that's as simple as we can make that expression. Let's move on now to looking at multiplication in algebraic expressions. 
Now one thing to remember is that quite often, or normally, when we're multiplying things in algebraic expressions, unless it's absolutely necessary, like between two numbers, we'll often drop the multiplication symbol. So instead of writing the quite lengthy 3 times x times y, we'll just simply write 3xy. So don't forget that there's multiplication symbols in there. Some other things to keep in mind are some uh, expansion rules that you may have heard of before. Things like the distributive law, the square of a sum and the square of a difference, and the difference of two squares. These are essentially just ways that tell us how to break open brackets when we're multiplying numbers together. Take some time to have a look at these for yourself. I'll just go through the first one though to show you what we're talking about. Basically a distributive law says that if we have a multiplied by a sum within brackets, we need to distribute across the parts of the sum. So that becomes a times x plus a times y. And similar sorts of approaches can be used throughout the rest of those rules. Something else to keep in mind is another one of these little things that I'll point out from time to time. It's important to note that the square of a plus b is not the same as a squared plus b squared. You might even remember this from index laws. You can't just bring that square inside the bracket because we've got a sum inside there. If it was a product, that'd be fine. Just to demonstrate this, let's have a look at a specific example. If I had a as 2 and b as 5, 2 plus 5 all squared would be 7 squared or 49. On the other hand, 2 squared plus 5 squared, well that's going to be 4 and 25, which is 29. Obviously these two, not the same thing. So we can say that generally a plus b all squared is not equal to a squared plus b squared. Okay, let's have a look at some examples on simplifying algebraic expressions involving multiplication. As usual, if you want to, take a moment to try these yourself and then come back and follow through with me. The first example asks us to multiply out 5y minus 3z and 2xw. Now we're going to need to combine things like what we know about multiplying actual numbers and possibly also our index laws. Here, I can just get rid of the, the brackets here by saying that's 5y multiplied by minus 3z and multiplied by 2xw. Really all I can do here is multiply out those actual numbers. 5 times minus 3 is minus 15, times 2 is minus 30. And then we're just left with all of those other variables, y, z, x, and w. And that's as simple as we can make that one. In part b, we're asked to expand minus 3ac squared times 5 minus 2b. Well, this is one of those examples where we're going to need to use our distributive law. We're going to multiply all of this stuff out the front by 5 and then by minus 2b. Or if you like, take away the multiple of it with positive 2b. So when we multiply by 5, we'll get minus 15ac squared, just multiplying the two numbers, then when we multiply by minus 2b, the negatives will become a positive. 3 by 2 is 6, and we get a, b, c squared. And that's as simple as that one will get. We can't add or subtract any of those because they're not like terms. Finally, we're asked to multiply out 4x minus 1 all squared. There is a rule for this, but I prefer to just do it in the natural way. And that's to write the square in this form. 4x minus 1 by 4x minus 1. And then I'm going to do the expansion of that. So I'm going to have 4x by 4x, and 4x by minus 1, and then minus 1 by 4x, and minus 1 by minus 1. So we're going to have 4x by 4x giving us 16x squared, then 4x by minus 1 giving minus 4x, minus 1 by 4x also giving us minus 4x, and finally minus 1 by minus 1 giving us plus 1. On this occasion, there is a little bit of further simplification we can do by combining these two like terms, minus 4x and minus 4x. So the final simplified form here is 16x squared minus 8x plus 1. So that's it for this video on simplifying algebraic expressions with addition, subtraction and multiplication. Remember in this video, we've actually defined what an expression is. We also looked at these terms or words, if you like, of terms, factors, and like terms. 
We looked at simplifying sum and difference expressions by adding and subtracting like terms. And finally, looked at how to expand uh, factors in product expressions and simplify those as well.